The Kamarker Omni-1 has been one of our favorite lasers to use, but now it's got a bigger brother, the all-new Omni-X. This machine packs a 5-watt UV module, an integrated shield, built-in exhaust, autofocus, lighting, and a whole lot more. Instead of dragging this out, let's do a quick run-through of the features and then jump straight into seeing what this thing can really do. Looking at the front of both machines, the emergency stop, power, and up and down buttons are all right where they've always been, and that's a good thing. No need to fix what isn't broken. We love having the emergency stop front and center, unlike some other lasers that hide it on the side or even around the back. Moving to the back, you can really see how much cleaner the Omni X looks compared to the Omni 1. The older model had a longer bundle of cables running between the base and the laser head. That can be nice if you like removing the module and moving it around, but for us, that's not something we really need. Curious though, is that something you do with your lasers? Drop it in the comments. The biggest change in the form factor is this front door. It slides up to give you access to the work area and makes the Omni-X much safer to use. You can mark and engrave without needing safety glasses. Huge plus. The door even has spring assists, so it's easy to open and close. And inside the housing, you've got built-in lighting and cooling fans up top to keep the module running smoothly. To power it on, you just twist the emergency stop and hit the power button. That's when we notice the first downside of the Omni-X. It's loud, more specifically the fans on top of the housing. They kick on right away and stay on the whole time. Hopefully that's something Kamarker can tweak in the future, maybe only running the fans while engraving, as long as it doesn't risk overheating the laser. You're also seeing the real-time speed of the motors that raise and lower the laser module. Honestly, it's a bit slow. We found it's much faster to do it through the software instead, so chances are you won't be using these buttons very often. The Ports around the back are all neatly labeled, and even the cables are tagged, which made setup super easy. You also find connections for a slide extension and a rotary. We're not covering those accessories in this video, but stay tuned. We've got shorts and how-to videos coming up on both of them. Finally, there's the exhaust fan. It's great to have since you can vent outside or into a smoke purifier, but we do wish the outlet was more pipe-shaped so an exhaust hose could just pop right on. I'm sure 3D printed solutions will start popping up for that in no time. All right, with all that out of the way, let's see what this laser can really do. We dug through our materials box and pulled out a little bit of everything. Cork, wood, slate, leather, metal, and more. So let's fire it up and get started. First up, we've got cork. While this is engraving, let's cover a few details. Right now, we've got the 70 millimeter lens on the Omniax. That's the one that gives you the most power, and it'll really come in handy later when we get into 3D engraving. Yep, you heard that right, 3D engraving. For software, the Omni-X does support light burn, but we're using Comarker's new program, Comarker Studio. Think of it like a lighter version of light burn. It's been working great for us, but at the time of recording, it was Windows only, which made screen capturing a bit tricky. As for the engraving, it's coming out great, just a little off-center. That's pretty common with UV lasers, since the beam isn't super visible on certain materials. Not a flaw with the machine, necessarily, just something that takes extra framing time. Honestly, it'd be awesome if Comarker added a simple red or blue framing dot. That would make life way easier. And there we have it, a beautiful yet slightly off-centered engraved cork coaster. With things like this, jigs would really come in handy. Off to the next project, a leather keychain. Since UV beams are often invisible, Comarker's answer to the framing issue is these little acrylic sheets. When the UV laser hits them, they light up so you can see exactly where your design will engrave. It definitely helps, but honestly, we'd still prefer a red framing laser. Maybe using a beam combiner like some gantry machines have. With small items like this keychain, it's easy to bump things out of alignment. But with a little patience, you'll get the job done. We love doing surface marking on leather. It engraves super fast and gives you really crisp mark without burning deep into the material. On a lot of these projects, we ran two passes, but honestly, most of the time, one would have been enough. And as you can see, another successful project, and this time, perfectly centered. The Omni has autofocusing LiDAR system. All you need to do is place your material under the red dot and click focus in the software. Easy. Wood is another material we really like running on the Omni-X. And if you're new to UV lasers, here's a cool fact. The UV light actually triggers a chemical reaction that breaks down the wood instead of just burning it away. You'll still catch a little bit of that wood burning smell since there's some heat involved, but you don't get the heavy smoke residue you normally see when engraving or cutting wood. So you are left with a super clean, detailed engraving that doesn't need any additional post-processing like this cute phone stand keychain. Next up, we wanted to push things further. Not just engraving wood, but cutting it too. Now, most Galvo lasers cut at a bit of an angle because of how the beam is emitted, and the Omni-X is no different. But here's the thing. 
the precision is still insane. This simple circle cut looks great, but we didn't stop there. Remember the tiny working puzzle we made with the Omni 1? Well, this time we went even smaller on the Omni X. And yeah, it's so tiny we had to put a penny next to it just to show the scale. For this next project, we swapped over to the larger 115 millimeter lens so we could fit a bigger design onto this wooden cheese knife set. The difference in field size is really handy for projects like this. And once again, we were super impressed with the level of detail the Omni X can achieve. Even on a larger engraving, the lines stay sharp and clean. Definitely one of those projects that make you stop and admire the finish. Felt is another great material to cut that isn't always possible with other lasers. At first, it doesn't even look like anything is happening, but you are left with a clean, melt and burn free cut. This would be cool for layered projects or even little mock ups of larger projects that you want to make. Now, onto everyone's favorite, slate. And no surprise here, the Omni X handles it like a champ. The detail comes out crisp and clean, and if you want to push things further, you can actually get some depth by running multiple passes. That makes slate a really fun material to experiment with, whether you're doing simple coasters or more detailed artwork. We've engraved a lot of slate over the years, and this machine definitely makes it one of the easiest materials to get professional looking results on. Changing gears a bit, let's move over to metal. The results here are seriously impressive, almost like what you'd expect from a dedicated fiber laser. On stainless steel especially, the Omni X can lay down a nice, dark engraving really quickly. It's sharp, it's bold, and honestly, it still surprises us how well a UV laser can handle metal. It's so cool to see. Now for what you've all been waiting for, 3D laser engraving inside a crystal block. Yep, the Omni X can actually do this, and the process is surprisingly simple. You've probably seen projects like this on our social media, but let's make a fresh one. For 3D engraving, it's recommended to use the 70 millimeter lens along with a small riser. All you need is an STL file, the same type you'd use for 3D printing. Of course, we had to go with a Benchy. Could this be the world's first 3D laser engraved Benchy? If you've seen one before, let us know in the comments. This type of engraving definitely feels like a premium product, especially if you do custom designs with family photos or pets. For now, we've only tried STL models, but we're really excited to experiment with photos in the future. That wraps up this first impressions video on the Omni X. Let us know what you think in the comments. Also, start your comments with the word crab and we will know that you watched all the way to the end. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and as always, stay creative.